crafty crew i hope you're really really well and have enjoyed the entire month of july can you believe we are almost near christmas don't say that i've got to say it i have to say it we are an oh my god we're like in august oh my god where on earth this has this time gone but anyways today i'm showing you my july project life if you're new to my channel hello i'm julia the tattoo crafter from england and i produce a whole multitude of different scrapbooking and memory keeping videos with regards to my project life i do things slightly differently on my channel rather than weekly spreads i end up doing monthly so today i'm doing a monthly highlights of july so if you're interested to see what i got up to and how i do my project life then continue watching my double spread for July. As I mentioned, I do things a little bit differently for my project life this time round, mainly because I don't actually have that much space anymore. So I've kind of decided that this time round I am going to end up adding two years worth of memories in the same album. Whether that happens or not, I do not know. Touch wood, so far, it's working a treat. Even though I'm taking quite a lot of photos still, which I wasn't ever going to realistically change, I am deciding that every month I will do a overall highlights of what happened and just randomly pick those important photos rather than literally documenting every little thing that's happened to me <laughs> in the entire year. So this particular spread, I end up just doing one half on camera and then the other half off, mainly because I'm just copying the left-hand side techniques. One of the techniques I've used quite a lot with July is using tags to add extra photos. So this particular one I'm documenting is Grace. She ended up having her first official walk in our local grocery store and I am so proud of her because she was fully focused on me even if she did brush herself up against people <laughs> just so that she could get a little bit of a stroke. She was absolutely brilliant so I've decided that this time round I'm going to use a few little tricks here, there and everywhere to add extra photos to my layout by using either flip pockets or by using the tags. Now for July we had the football so I ended up documenting quite a bit of that. This is a photo of Grace watching, well I say watching, but at least participating in the big game. We've got a projector rather than a TV screen so it was pretty much movie night or games night so to speak round ours which is brilliant. Again, another little tag just so that I've got an additional photo. I had journaled a little bit more about the actual photo itself, but it's just quite nice. I'm quite tactile as well, so I quite like my albums to kind of be able to be a little bit more, like I say, tactile and people can kind of really get to town with the overall pocket. is me and the ladies at work we ended up having a big get together at work we ended up dressing up in the red and white to celebrate England in the World Cup and at this particular studio calico kit I wasn't necessarily too keen on the cards and this is one of them it's basically like you can color it in which is what I end up doing here Bear in mind it says here we go, I thought this was the only opportunity I would ever get to use this card. So I grabbed it with both horns, I coloured it in and I'm really really chuffed with the way it turned out and I actually think I may produce some of my own cards in this style. It's actually crazy how therapeutic colouring in is. I have got a colouring in book 
even though I am an adult but it is actually quite nice and quite therapeutic so that was really nice and to kind of go with the London and England theme I've got these stickers here and I've got some little crowns and some teacups and some kind of big Ben and buses and all that sort of jazz so I thought what better way to use kind of London and England overall ephemera than on the England game card and guys this is the end of this layout as mentioned I have finished the right hand side off camera mainly because I was simply reproducing the same techniques on this side my main two tips for this overall process video are to journal on the cards and photos themselves and that way it ensures that I've been able to add more photos to my pockets and I've also been able to add a lot more tags and flip pockets which has ensured that I can add those extra few photos which are necessary. I really do hope you have enjoyed this video and it's given you guys out there some inspiration to think outside the box, especially when sneakily adding extra photos to your spreads. And I'd love to know what your favourite memory of July was, so please let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all on Friday for a haul of epic proportions and I wish you a wonderful week. See you later. Bye.